welcome to Cop Caddy. My name is Jonathan Firebaugh. I'm the owner and inventor of the Cop Caddy. And today we're going to discuss design options and how to order one of these. Um, there's many different options, design things that you could do to change it up and uh, additions and engraving sublimations and that sort of thing. So that's what we're going to discuss today. So by the time you watch this video, you will understand how to order a cop caddy, all the different options on it, and the sky's the limit. So stay tuned. Alright, so first thing we're going to discuss is the color. And all we're going to be looking at right now is the color of these three cop caddies. So this first one here, this one is black cherry. So you see it's kind of a maroonish color, um, but that's black cherry. A lot of people like this, but that's the third most popular color. Then, the most popular is ebony stain. Now this one is a standard ebony stain we have here, and it could go lighter or darker, depending on what you want. If you want it more of the wood grain showing through, I could do that, or if you want it just really, really dark, again, I could just darken it up some. And then, the second most popular choice is walnut. This is the walnut stain here. And that one's a nice stain. But those are the three stain colors, uh, the most popular stain colors. Obviously, I'll do other colors. Um, cherry, which is more of an orange color. That one, mahogany. Mahogany, it's a little, it's like the walnut, but it's a little, has a little more red to it, a little more red tint to it. Um, that one as well. But these three are the basic ones that do the most. All right, now that we've got the colors gone through, um, more than likely you're going to choose the ebony stain. I mean, that's just what I get. It's 90% of the people get ebony stain, probably more than that. Um, literally, 9 out of 10 always get the ebony stain. But let's now go through. What we have is a basic cop caddy, okay? So the basic cop caddy comes, and you just... If you have no engravings, no, no additions, no box, nothing, just what does the base cost get you? The base cost gets you this here, uh, basically. Um, now that'll be screwed down. So that is a standard cop caddy. Now, we have the belt holder here. It will hold anybody's belt. Um, it holds a tremendous amount of weight both these hangers do so you have the belt holder you have the vest holder the vest holder will carry a standard inside the shirt second chance vest or um, a second chance vest in a vest carrier like mine here so that just goes on just like that sits on there great all right really easy to take on and off simple but I said it'll hold a tremendous amount of weight so my AR 500 plate carrier with loaded mags and everything and I got this is the AR 500 plates on that so that holds that just fine just like that see just fine no problems at all no problems and it's stable it is very stable so that's the basic cop caddy and so you have an upgrade option you have a couple different upgrade options if you don't want the shelf on top, let's say you want one with the wood box, all right? So you have wood box with a lock, wood box without a lock. Either way, you have the wood box. Now, what comes with the wood box is radio charger box, like this, radio charger. It's inside the radio charger box. So notice the big hole back here, that's so your cables could go out, the, the power cable goes out there. All right, so that sits on the cop caddy like such. That is it. 
Now it's not lined up. Or screwed down. So, show you. Just like that. That's the wood box with a lock upgrade. The radio charger box comes with this. So the cost of it's all, all rolled in one. And you could add the lock or not. It's up to you if you want the lock on there. And the lock comes with two keys, which will be inside the box. All right. Take that. I will discuss the additions. The additions are things like engravings and sublimations. I go back to this one here. So this would be a sublimation. This is an engraving. You could have the front of the radio charger box engraved. You could have the side of it engraved. You could have the front of the lock box engraved. You could have the top, the lid engraved. You could even have the inside of the box engraved. Here, with a nice message. You can engrave down the post. Now, a laser engraver won't engrave all the way down the post. It's not deep enough. Um, I don't have a $30,000 you know, commercial laser engraver that has a huge bed or anything. Um, so I, I, I usually can only go down to almost halfway down the post. So that still will allow me to do well uh, just about any name. Um, if you want something that's really, really long, you usually have to shrink the letters a little bit. But as you see, I have capital letters here. I could also do lowercase letters or numbers, whatever you want. Uh, also, you can engrave the base down here on the base. And a lot of people like to get that, the blessed are the peacemakers or something like that down there on the base. Uh, so there's a lot of options, a lot of places that you could put in the engraving. Should I've engraved the top of the belt hanger, if you grade the top of the uh, vest holder. Um, and then I, I do other things like inlay. So I've taken coins, uh, challenge coins, and inlaid them into like the, the vest holder here, inlaid them into the box or the post. I've taken a badge, an actual metal badge, and inlaid it into the post. Um, and that I use the laser engraver to actually cut the shape of the badge onto the wood, and then I chisel down enough so the badge will sit flush with it. So no big deal there. And the sublimations, let's discuss those. Sublimations are really cool and the options are absolutely endless. If you could take a photo of something, I could I can make it. Uh, put it on your cop caddy. If you have the clip art, uh, so like a digital image of a badge or a patch, something like that, easy again. Send it to me, I'll make it. And I'll show you here a, a pile of sublimations that I have uh, just kind of on hand and some that I've made for this demonstration here to show you just some options on those sublimations. Uh, they, there's a ton. So let me go grab those. So here's just a few sublimations that I've kind of put together uh, for this little, this little show here. But you'll see there's lots of different things here. And... Like I said, with the, the patches, the badges, that sort, if you send me the image, I'll make it. So if you take a photograph of your badge, all right, badges are usually not flat and they're reflective. So if you take a photograph with your cell phone of a badge, your, your sublimation is going to look exactly like that photograph. So it'll have glare. It'll have shadow. It won't be straight. It just does not look good. So let's not do that. All right, find a computer image or it, I, I probably have well, several hundred badges and patches that I've done. So I, there's a chance that I may actually have it. So like, let's say like this uh, state trooper, the Lakeland police here, these are computer images that I've done. Same thing with the Harris County there and the patches that you see here. This St. Michael kicking the hell out of the devil there. And have the thin blue line stuff here. I love this one. It kind of goes with the Spartan helmet there. So you have the different Punishers, uh, Border Patrol, and the police blue line there. But yeah. Also, if you don't like the color, you don't like um, the sublimation, you can engrave it. You got a badge or a patch, or shoot, even a picture of your dog. 
picture of you and your significant other. I, I can engrave that. That's that's easy. As you see, I just have a little piece of wood engraved it there with a the patch. So, like I said, endless. So, oh. so there we go. That's cop cabin. How you design basically what you want. So you will look what you want, the color of it, choose say ebony, and then you'll decide what you want on the top. Do you want it the, the shelf? Do you want a wood box? Do you want a wood box with a lock? Shoot, you want a wood box with a different lid. Let's say you want the glass lid. All right, where it's a wood border and a pane of glass in the middle. It's a glass top box, basically. Really cool looking. Um, that, that's, all right, cool, got it. Um, the radio charger on there as well. Flashlight, you have, you have a flashlight, everybody does. We need to charge it. While we're getting everything, all your gear in one spot, getting it all nice and organized, why are we gonna have your flashlight off somewhere else? No, let's add that into it. So I could do that as well. I will send you, if you want a flashlight charger mounted to it, I'll send you with the screws long enough to mount your flashlight. I can't mount it for you unless you send me your charger, which doesn't really make sense because how are you gonna, how are you gonna charge your flashlight while I got your charger? So um, if you have the standard Streamlight charger, see I have one up here somewhere. Or I used to. But if you have the standard Streamlight charger, uh, which is the square, uh, thing that with the cradle on it. That's no problem. I have one. I can set the screws for you uh, Drill the holes for the screws for you add the screws. So when you get it All you have to do is set it up there screw it in easy So let me know if you want a flashlight charger uh, Mounted to your cop caddy take care of that and then what do you want extra the the engraving sublimations? Um, badge numbers, names, sayings, quotes, verses, anything. You have something really long, let's say you want to take a um, really long quote from the, or verse from the Bible. Cool, got it. I can engrave that. Um, I can, it, it's super long. I can do it really small letters, put it on the top of the, the lid of, the, of a box, you know, because there's lots of room there or, or what have you. So, um, yeah, that's, that's going to be pretty much it on ordering a cop caddy and the options involved with that okay so also while we're on it waving flags now these are these are orders here that I just finished up this is a waving wood flag as you see it's well hangs on the wall and it looks like it's waving like this big one back here this one's done a little different it's darker tattered end the waves are more rounded but yeah, this is a waving wood flag and it's a modification of a soshugi bond finish where I I burned the wood after I carved the, the the waves in it I literally set this thing on fire and I burn it till it is completely burnt like charcoal and then I go through and I remove the all the the burnt wood and I remove the sap wood this is sap wood the young young wood this is uh, the, this is the the growth rings. This is the hardwood. This is basically the winter wood that grows. So it's really, really tough. That's what the rings of the wood is. So I leave that, remove the sapwood, the young uh, spring growth in there, and you're left with a really cool effect, but the, the grain is actually raised. So as you feel, and I know it's going to be hard to see in the video, it's hard to see in pictures, but as you run your hand across this, there is the grain's raised up quite a bit. On, on here, it's it's really cool, but got that with standard American flag or say like the thin blue line flag I've got here. Do that one as well, and this one's a little little harder because you have the black stain. I'm trying to get the wood to shove through that is really really tough, but I got it. And flat flags as well. So this one is a really dusty because this one's mine. Forward facing, black and gray flag. There you go, cop caddy.